All right guys, it's time to watch another motivational TikTok account, but I think this one's got a pretty interesting twist. This dude's name is William Knight, and I've seen a few of his TikToks, but most of these I'm gonna be blind reacting to, thanks to Robert. He has curated many of these TikToks. This dude seems to be all about motivation, opening your mind, opening your third eye, so to speak. He's all about making you think. To the point where, I gotta say, it's more than just his words that make you think. Let's take a look. Breathe in. Okay. Today's message comes from an old Chinese proverb. If you want happiness for an hour, take a nap. Okay. If you want happiness for a day, go fishing. Cool. If you want happiness for a year, inherit a fortune. But if you want happiness for a lifetime, then help someone else. Okay. Today I want you to breathe out <sighs> as much love and kindness as possible. Okay, dude, thank you, but I'm not... <laughs> I'm not used to holding my breath that long, damn. Guess it was only 30 seconds, but that kind of hurt. Instead of focusing so much energy on how can I make myself happy, focus on how can I be of service. Okay, very nice message, you know? If you want to be truly happy and live a fulfilling life, dedicate yourself to helping others. Love the sentiment. There's a lot going on in the video besides that. I don't know if you noticed. First of all, he tried to kill me. Then we got the outfit. Now I gotta say, I respect the sort of non sequiturs we got going on here. No single garment in this outfit is related to any other garment. It's actually quite impressive. You've got the three, you've got the 360 Yankees hat, which I've never seen before. And I don't watch a lot of baseball, so I don't know if this is a thing. I have to say, I don't think it is. Maybe there's one special player that wears this hat. You've got the infield, you've got the outfield, and then you've got this guy who is actually on the Yankees. But he's in the outer outfield, which is actually in a forest 300 miles away from the stadium where these 360 degree brim hats. And the little buckle he added on the hat to make it look kind of like a pilgrim hat, I think is really working in his favor. Then you've got the black leather gloves, the ruffled black shirt, which I'm getting like vampire pirate vibes from, and then his mesmerizing eyes. I can't tell if these are colored contact lenses or if he really just has that beautiful of eyes, but it almost feels like you have to watch this video multiple times to even get the really nice message that he's giving you. No wonder he has such good engagement. This video has almost 300,000 likes. It's because you have to watch this video multiple times to even realize he's saying something. Because for the first half of the video, you're like, what is going on here? Also, what is up with that tree in the background? Is there a face on that tree? Is that a person? Did he manifest somebody into a tree? It's actually a player of the opposing baseball team that the Yankees are playing today. You're allowed to use magic in the outfield, actually and he was unfortunately not able to defend himself. Okay, another video where the fit is looking redonkulous and the caption is, there's no such thing as a coincidence. Breathe in. Oh no, okay, all right. A wise man once said, the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. Don't settle. Thank you. Is the human soul on fire? Beautiful. So light her up. Get it, get it. You're just standing there. Get, tell me to breathe, please, please, please breathe tell me to out. breathe. Okay, god damn, dude. He was taunting me at the end there, I think. Are you dead yet? I think that my body trying to conserve oxygen actually prevented me from fully listening to what he was saying there. The only way to do great work is what you love. Be passionate about what you do. That's great. And I can tell that William Knight loves what he does. I do truly get the vibe that he is very inspired doing these, wearing the absolute sickest outfits ever in the middle of the forest. Actually, as I felt my body depleting of oxygen and my eyes were rolling back into my head, I noticed how sparkly his shirt is. That is a very... Nice sparkly shirt. Okay, I'm glad at least the comments are with me. Bro, just let me breathe, I'm gonna die. He was trying to end me. 360 Yankee brim is diabolical. Yeah, I mean, this has gotta be like the final form of a baseball hat. I can't see it getting any more intense than this, aside from becoming a 3D 360 brim, where the brim is a full sphere around your head. That'd be pretty cool. All right, let's keep on going here. There's no such thing as a coincidence. I wonder if that's his catchphrase. There is no such thing as a coincidence. The fact that you're watching this video means you're energetically aligned with me and this message. Well, I would argue that since Robert actually put these videos together and he found this TikTok, uh, William, you must be energetically aligned with Robert, actually. Robert, maybe you should reach out to this guy. Your thoughts create your reality. Well, you already knew that, yet you still live a life that you oh, dread. Excuse me. <laughs> that is because. Yo, oh 
my god. What happened to her? You still live a life that you oh, dread. Excuse me. My guy traumatized her. What, what what did she scream about? At first I was like, oh, he surprised her and that's why she was scared, but she ran up to him from behind. If anything, William should have been scared. What right does she have to run up behind him and then scream at him like he spooked her? And William's not even looking that outlandish today, so you can't blame it on his outfit either. This is pretty tame for him. He's just wearing a turtleneck sweater. Maybe she was so surprised by his hypnotizing eyes or maybe the, the energy just radiating off of him like vaporized her or something my guy actually turned her into a tree with that stare this actually reminds me have you guys seen that video um of the dude with the the curly red hair surprising that woman and he threw flakes in it Mommy, this is not you, you throw this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is basically the same video, except the woman who gets scared should actually burst into flames when she sees him, I think. I'm amazed by his composure. The fact that she screams at him, and he just goes back to talking to the camera. Excuse me. Ah! That is because... He's like, just another day of people seeing me <laughs> and screaming violently. That's actually super impressive. Breathe in. I feel like the breathing thing is supposed to be calming. It is a little bit scary to me and, and kind of triggers my flight or fright. Uh, flight or fright. Did I say flight or fright? You either run away or you get scared. <laughs> Fight or flight is what it's called. I also kind of feel like I'm being hypnotized. He's he's getting my body and mind to slow down so he can incept my brain with whatever ideas he wants. Luckily, they seem to be pretty tame ideas. Uh, he actually seems to just be a nice guy that is trying to make my life better. But if, in the wrong hands, this could be truly evil. Okay, what I want you to do is commit voter fraud. I'm gonna need you to register a fake person at the DMV, then get that person's mail set to your address. Breathe in. A wise man once said. Oh no, dude, this video is a minute and eight seconds long. I'm not gonna hold my breath for this whole time. I'm not, I'm sorry. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna hold my breath. Go hypnotize someone else. What do, you, what do we call this here that he does at the beginning of every video? He just glides towards the camera. It's like kind of a millennial pause, but there's another sort of je ne sais quoi built into it. Sort of this demonic, Poltergeist s glide in towards the camera. The possessed millennial pause. Anyway, um, I'm pretty awkward, guys. As soon as you wake up every single morning, I want you to relax. Don't grab your phone. Don't move. This simple act is reprogramming your subconscious mind because your mind is still in a theta brainwave. Did you just call me a beta? <laughs> Your mind is still in a beta brainwave. I was not expecting this dude to be like an alpha male. Oh, he said theta. There's theta males now too? Yeah, you got your alpha males, sigma males, beta males, theta brains. What brainwave is my brain supposed to be in? Every morning, I will guide you to your dream reality, reprogramming your subconscious mind. The link is in the bio breathe out oh my god dude that was so long to hold your breath if anyone out there was holding their breath i'm sorry that you're dead now also why does he breathe out when he says breathe out was he holding his breath for that entire video too <laughs> that's amazing he also looks like he almost forgot to say it there for a sec which is a terrifying thought we could have all been holding our breaths forever anyway see you next time oh shit and remember to breathe remember to breathe and blink guys you need to do that he just saved a hundred thousand people's lives oh no this one's got the creepy tree in it again does are there any comments about this tree the brim reaper someone called him <laughs> accurate he did kill that lady okay lots of comments begging him to let them breathe so this is gonna be another good one. Oh yeah anyone else notice the tree face just me okay okay because i was kind of worried that i was the only person that saw it like there was some kind of energetic connection between me and the tree but i'm glad other people are seeing it too i am now on a new platform called snapchat Send me photos of your cats and dogs. I like that he says I'm posting an app called Snapchat like most people don't know what Snapchat is. But you know, to be fair, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he spends a lot of time in this forest. I don't even know if he has a phone. He could just be like recording this video on a tree somehow. I wouldn't doubt him having that sort of ethereal power. And you know what? I don't think I will send him a picture of my dogs. You know, I trust the guy and I think he's he's giving some nice advice for the most part, but he's gonna try to curse them or something. Or maybe take control of their body or something like that and I just I can't have that my dog walking around in a Yankees infinite brim hat no thank you it's gonna turn my dog into a boxwood always remember who checks in on you 
when you go quiet. Okay, speaking of dog, he just has a dog all of a sudden. This was the first person to send him a dog on Snapchat. Ah, you fell for the trap, dude. When you send him a dog on Snapchat, he can manifest it into his woods. Not your dog anymore, sorry. Always remember who checks in on you when you go quiet. That's love. Dude, this is so true though, because my dogs always check in on me when I go quiet. Today's message. Go back to your childlike perspective. Get excited over the bugs, the planes, and the trees. The more you focus on the little miracles, the more you attract the big ones. Yeah, um, do you want to address the child and the figures in cloaks? What's going on in this one, man? You know, this is a very interesting character, guys. I don't, this is weird. There's so much going on in these videos. For one, he's giving this energetic advice on how to live your life and manifest things. He also appears to be advertising some app, his Grand Rising app, which I guess is some kind of meditation app. But then there's all of the extra stuff, which I'm sure some of it is kind of an act to get engagement, and then some of it is not. Like, I'm sure whatever he, he's doing with this child and the cloaked figures, is just kind of like a weird thing he added to the video to get people to comment on it. And of course, yes, people are commenting, where do you get the kids? Which, you know, it's kind of a weird thing to ask. And it's almost like maybe you're reaching more people because of those things, but I worry that they're actually not getting the message that you want to get across because there's so much going on in your videos. A lot of people who commented this, where are you getting these kids, probably are not even paying attention to what you're saying. Okay, what is going on here? This is a slideshow of images. The first one is a comment that says, it's so said that this guy drowned he was kind of funny uh then there's another image of a funeral for him then we have a bunch of pictures of him with wings maybe he's in heaven let's does the caption say anything to clarify? There is no such thing as a coincidence. The fact that you're watching this video means that Robert is energetically aligned with me and this message. Listen to my guided meditation to shift your dream reality. Okay, but did you die? He's figured out how to post from beyond the grave. So I don't know why people were commenting that he drowned, uh, but the pictures don't really seem to confirm or deny that he drowned. They don't directly address it. And if you were to think he was alive, then these pictures obviously just show him alive. But if you think he's died, then all of these pictures pictures confirm is that he's now a flying demon. Oh great, now we have an article. What happened to William Knight on TikTok? Viral stars drowning claim explored. It's kind of crazy to claim that you drowned because it's like, you know, no, you didn't. The account of TikTok sensation William Knight, who is noted for his content on affirmation and manifestation, recently sent his fans into panic mode after suggesting on a post that he had drowned. The picture shared on X on November 30th appeared to be a screenshot of a Facebook post by Fijbo... Fijbo... Bot... 1500. Okay, that was the funeral picture. Yeah, this one. Oh, he said it about himself. He reposted it and said, it's so sad that this guy drowned, he was kind of funny. The image, however, is doctored. <gasps> What? As it is quite a viral Dragon Ball meme, where many have previously edited faces of other people. You know, I gotta say, all this does not seem very in line with the core message of his content. All of his videos are like, relax. You wanna find purpose in life? Just be cool. You know, breathe in, wait 20 minutes, breathe out. Also, I died? I drowned! I'm dead! Or am I? I might be a demon. And then he just goes back to making videos being like, shh, 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 it's okay. Okay, baby. Learn about these four ex-government employees who risked everything to tell you the truth about extraterrestrials. Okay, now this seems like a drastically different type of content than it usually makes too. Government whistleblowers? Meditation content and conspiracy theory content are something that feel like they should not go hand in hand. One is calming, the other is not at all. The top four people that tried to warn us that aliens are taking over the government but died by mysterious circumstances before they could. It's not very relaxing. Former Pentagon intelligence officer Angelia Schultz held her press conference detailing her encounters with extraterrestrials at an ET base in the Mojave Desert. And now, she is the tree standing behind me. This is what the government did to her for speaking out. Yo, what? I don't know what this video was, Robert, but it's currently unavailable. It's in the Google Doc Robert sent me as another conspiracy TikTok, and it is not here. That's kind of spooky, dude. William is being censored by the government. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that guided tour through William Knight's TikTok account. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Uh,